Yo, 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 good morning, guys. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I will be doing a full day of eating with a little bit of in between of packing the order for Renaissance Effort. Because if you didn't know, the new t shirts, they're right there, have been launched yesterday. And I haven't eaten anything yet, and it's almost 12. And just because I don't have a lot in my house, I'm gonna eat sandwiches with some chicken. So this is just some chicken for to put in your bread. It is very clean, obviously. I will put all the macros and calories and stuff on the screen. And this is just some bread. Interesting. Yo, yo, so we just packed a couple orders and we are now on our way to the gym. Also, I had two sandwiches today and it's a full day of eating and that's not really a lot if you want to go gymming. So I am consuming a Snickers right now. So it gives me some energy for the gym that we are about to hit right now. We're about to hit with Jeroen a little back session and I'm really excited. Also, I have my pre-workout from my protein with me, but yeah, that's about it. Oh, hello there, my fellow fitness influencer. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, welcome to the portion where we work out in this video because actually I do actually work out and I just not eat just random shit because I like it. It's because I want to grow some muscle. Uh, we're starting off with some weighted pull-ups. I did some neutral or like little medium grip pull-ups. Um, and then we went over to do some uh, barbell rows. I bent over barbell rows. I like this exercise a lot. I do only see that my lower back isn't really that straight. It, I have a lot of stress on my lower back, I feel like. Because when I do the exercise, I feel like I'm, I'm completely arching it. But um, it's completely not the case if you look at this form. I'm not really too happy about that. But anyways, if you are going to do this exercise, make sure your back is arched. You have your abs tight and you pull through the elbows and not let your wrists do the work. Anyways, then we went over to a machine row. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, machine rows that we have in the gym. I like, uh, we don't really have the hammer strike machines where you go from up to down, but this is the next best thing. Then we went and did the last back exercise already. Whoa, so exciting, right? I was about to say lat pull downs. This is great for width. Obviously, we also did the pull ups, but this was just a great finisher. So we did pretty much two rows and two pull downs or pull up. Um, so we have a lot of different kinds of work going on for the back. Now, then we did two ep um, episodes, two exercises for biceps. First one is a straight barbell curl. I like this one a lot. Um, I do prefer the slight easy bar curl though. Uh, not the crazy curved one, but a little bit straightener one. Uh, but this one is a little bit awkward on the wrist. So if you have trouble with your wrist, I would definitely recommend doing easy bar curls. And then we finished off with some cable curls. I like to use a rope with this and have my thumbs a little bit over the little balls right there. Uh, so get a really good squeeze at the end. And yeah, man, great finisher for biceps. And this is already a workout. I will put all the information about sets and reps in the description if you're interested. Als je bijvoorbeeld kijkt naar uh, dat schema, dan staat bij de totale calorieën van die maaltijd bijvoorbeeld 300 of zo. So, uh, we just got back from the gym, but uh, we had, uh, we did some grocery shopping. It's lunchtime and I'm quite hungry after the gym. It's about 3.30 at the moment. Obviously, you guys know these, these little skiers, quark, 45 protein, 45, 50-ish carbs per tub. So, I'll eat one of those at least uh, before dinner. And then uh, we also got some chicken and some uh, vegetables. I have some rice. Uh, still here. That's what we're gonna eat for lunch right now. Obviously the chicken, super lean, uh, a lot of protein, no carbs, no fat, so, you know, very high protein. Then we have the veggies, you know, for the fibers, and also veggies are good. And then we have the rice for the carbs. All right, the end product here, we have some chicken, we have some rice, some veggies, and I have some sweet chili sauce to finish it and give it some more flavor. The calories will be on the screen right here. 6.45, been packing the whole time and also took, some, I took a very cool picture actually for Instagram. So I am having the next meal. I am having a six layer protein bar for my protein, which is a very big protein bar, which really fills you up. It's a little higher in calories. So this is 256 calories, but also I'm having a full tub of skier 
quark, which is for a full tub, 40 grams of protein and about 35 grams of carbs, literally zero fat. I'm packing and I wanna keep packing. I wanna make sure I get as many orders out today as possible. But yeah, for me, meal timing, um, today is a little bit of a weird day. Obviously, I'm, I'm busy packing and doing all that. I would always tell my online clients about meal timing is you, you, you can read a lot of stuff about meal timing online, right? Like you have to eat every three hours, every two hours. The only reason why, we, why you would eat or try to eat a couple hours a day if you're trying to bulk up and you're, you know, you need a consistent amount of food to be able to get to your caloric you know, goals. If you have trouble eating the large portions of food at the same time like me, it's very nice to eat very consistent every two, three hours because then you can eat smaller portions but eat more volume uh, during the day. So you can take in all those calories that you wanna consume, right? Timing, don't pay attention too much to the timing. I recommend you pay attention more to the amount of calories you eat in a day or about the, the amount of calories that you take in, so. I think I'm just gonna eat some bread with some peanut butter to get my fats up and some more calories in. And then also I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna buy some cereal to be honest, but I really want some cereal with some milk to get some more carbs in. Um, if I eat my second quark of the day, I'm pretty sure I get my proteins already. So I should be good on that front. The fats, yeah, I wanna get the fats off a little bit because I haven't had many today. I can eat some peanut butter with some red. All right. Oh, there you go, buddy. And now let's pack you up and get you to the store. I don't know how I'm gonna do this yet, but we'll, um, we'll see. Yeah, all right, I forgot to hit record um, on the audio. So here's blah, blah, blah. Here's some cereal and some strawberries and here are the total calories for it. Lol, I'm a stupid. It's 12, 13 actually. And I um, didn't record me eating the peanut butter, but I did. And now I'm finishing off with a skier. Um, and then after straight that, I'm gonna go straight to bed. Tomorrow I'm gonna edit this video, hit the gym, send some more orders out because some more orders came in already, so that's really awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna finish with this. It's just, this is just very convenient and it's just an easy way to get your proteins in. Obviously, you have a protein shake, which is about 20 grams. If you double scoop, it's about 40 grams of protein. If you like that, I'm not really a very big fan of protein shakes anymore. Maybe if I put it in a shake with like frozen fruits and stuff like that and make it like a big smoothie. If you have any more questions for me, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I can answer them for you. And uh, yeah, I'll check it with you guys tomorrow. Peace.